so in this video we will see what are the properties of stationary wave if you haven't seen the video on formation of stationary wave please go to the playlist and see that video first and then come to this video it will help will helpful for you all so let's start off with the topic so first property is that the two waves which form the stationary wave which is the pink wave is moving towards the wall and the purple wave will be moving away from the wall so the stationary wave is formed by combination of two waves one which is moving towards the wall and the another one which is reflected and moving away from the wall so the combination of these two waves that is the two waves which are in opposite direction gives rise to the stationary waves the second property of a stationary wave is that when this is the mean position the orange line is the mean position so this point on the mean position is being displaced in a maximum way which is deflected from this position to this position so the maximum deflection of a point gives rise to a which is known as anti node and the point over here is being displaced almost zero and it is known as node so a point on a medium where the maximum deflection takes place is known as anti node and the point on the medium where the minimum displacement takes place is known as the node third one the distance between two nodes see these two loops form one stationary wave and the wavelength of the stationary wave is lambda so the distance from this point to this point gives rise to one stationary wave and it is known as lambda so one loop will obviously be lambda by 2 so the distance between two nodes this point to this point is nothing but lambda by 2 and if you'll see carefully the distance between two anti nodes that is this anti node to this anti node is also lambda by 2 the fourth property which is nothing but the distance between a anti node and a node is lambda by 4 see one loop is lambda by 2 and if we divide the one loop in again two parts we get lambda by 4 so a distance between a anti node and a node is lambda by 4 a stationary wave and the fifth property is that a stationary wave is a doubly periodic phenomenon that is this wave purple wave which is moving away from the wall and the pink wave which is moving towards the wall are both periodic in nature so since two waves are periodic in nature we call a stationary wave as a combination of doubly periodic phenomenon so the sixth property is that stationary wave is also known as a standing wave because if you see carefully that stationary wave can maximum be displaced till this point after this point it cannot move further because it is a string on which the stationary wave is formed and it is not transferring to any other medium it is traveling from this point to this point only so a stationary wave is just moving in its particular uh, restricted area so the since it is not covering any further distance the distance becomes zero dis distance covered becomes zero and thus the velocity of a stationary wave is always zero since there is no velocity of the stationary wave there is no energy transfer taking place so these all were the properties of the stationary waves please do like subscribe to the channel and share this video as much as you can thanks guys